<laughs> oh, I think we're on. Oh. Hi, I'm Henry, and this bum sitting next to me is Ethan. And welcome to the Bison Information Network. Cut, cut to the, cut to the thing. Do, 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 do. To begin today, NDSU announced the opening of a nuclear reactor here on campus. The spokesperson of the project, Buck Frumpton, said, I just felt that NDSU needs a good nuclear reactor. It's a good, clean source of energy for the campus and will give students a hand-on approach to nuclear energy. That's right. Once it's built, it will be entirely student-run. I see no problems with this. Students will be seeing a slight increase of $100,000 in tuition in order to pay for the reactor. I, am the, I, for one, am excited for this new source of energy and have no ulterior motives for it. Hey there, Bison Nation. I'm happy to be back on air with you. And in light of this special occasion, I'm doing my best to suppress my primal urges I may be feeling right now. By, what if I told you, Bison Nation, that tipping winners is unnatural? <laughs> this year, the Bison Information Network team were in a Baraduk in a remote island off the coast of Yalahanu. And on this island, there were no restaurants. And the Bahaduk people have no concept of currency. They trade and they barter. One day, I decided to dress up as a minimum wage waiter and offer the chieftain a, pl a fresh plate of plucked crow. <laughs> Sounds pretty good, right? In response, the chieftain handed me 10 rocks. I look down at the rocks and then look up at the chieftain and say, hey, aren't you forgetting something? Where's my tip, idiot? 30 seconds later, I'm running for my life. It turns out the most basic primal version of a human being is diametrically opposed to tipping. We only tip because Western culture told us to, but Chief Kukapu, doesn't, he doesn't answer to Western culture and neither should we. Resident hero, Fruck Bumpton, is going to be leading a TED Talk right here on campus. It's entitled, Delayed gratif Gratification is for Chumps. Why have it now when you could have it now? <laughs> it will be held at NDSU's iconic festival concert hall and will cost students a very cheap price of $400 a seat. This hot ticket item, as from Buckton, local <laughs> hero, <laughs> saved seven people from a mind collapse last year. So I recommend you get your tickets now. <laughs> Up next in gaming news, in celebration of the half-year anniversary of Microsoft's acquisition of Blizzard Entertainment, <laughs> I've taken it upon myself to recreate one of the most iconic game sound effects ever. If you've ever played Blizzard's hit MMO, World of Warcraft, or their card game, Hearthstone, Hearthstone, sorry, uh, then you probably know that the Murlocs, a popular type of monster, a popular monster type, are a fan favorite. Or if you've got a life and you have no clue what I'm talking about. Regardless, these murderous little flesh people are known for their gibberish, which I intend to create. He was like, do you have the paper towels? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Where are they? So I, I have some uh, cottage sheet. Ethan, can you hold my mic for me? Oh, yeah, of course I can. Yeah, give me one sec. I need that. Here, I'm saving you for later. Right. I'm going to open up the cottage cheese and just go, oh, it has a... Give me one sec. Always stir your cottage cheese before going in there. I don't know how old this stuff is. Today. I got it today. Okay, good. Originally, this executive at Blizzard wanted this sound, to create this sound <laughs> by gurgling yogurt until they passed out. I'm going to recreate <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh. 
Das ist halt. Reminds me of home. That's all I've got for now. Back to you, Ethan. There has been a national recall of both Pokemon cards and certain medication. They are as follows. And just so the audience knows, I will tell you whether the name I say is Pokemon or medication in order to hold me accountable. If I get it wrong, Henry will spray water in my, my face. Ivysaur, which is a Pokemon. Morgrem, which is a Pokemon. Gabapentin, which is a... It is the... The, the, the medication, Valstar, which is a Pokemon, <laughs> Pikachu, which is a Pokemon, Zoroark, which is a medication. <laughs> if you have any of these, please get rid of them immediately. They've been recalled for technical, technical purposes. In more, from, in more national news, just seen from the Galapagos Islands, it appears that the Darwinian finches have erupted into civil war. We have reported, not live from our station, but where we have a transcript of the conversation between the finch leaders. The leader of the Jabberjays uh, resp then responded in, in with a scathing retort. <laughs> At that point, the House and Parliament erupted into an all-out brawl ensued. <laughs> but wait, the birds had let their guard down. A cat that was lying in, in wait pounced upon them. <laughs> At the end of the hour, the body count was totaled, and the cat had taken out 84 of the visiting parliamentary members in the room. The days that followed were gray for the Galapagos Islands, where war now rages. May they have your thoughts and prayers. Back to you, Ethan. It's a sad day. Our newly appointed Lord High Executioner has announced his new list of executionees for April. In a statement from our Lord High Executioner, I must, I'm touched by this reception. I can only trust by strict duty to, I shall ensure a continuance of those favors which it will ever be in my study to deserve. If I should ever be called upon to act professionally, I am happy to think there will be no difficulty in finding plenty of people whose loss will be a distinct gain to the society at large. His list is as follows. All people who take mufflers off their cars and drive them around just to be noticed. The guy at the bar making women uncomfortable. French speakers. Taylor Swift fans. Members of sororities and fraternities. Twitch streamers. Male podcasters. People with dyed hair. Republicans. And the guy merging on the highway, swerving around with no regard for the people around them. If you happen to be on this list, please submit yourself to the nearest prison for your summary execution. Speaking of execution, talk about a sweet surprise. Local candy factory Andy's Sugar Mill burns down in a tragic fire, claiming the lives of ten. The fire started around noon, when the marshmallow machine caught on fire, quickly caramelizing two people. <laughs> the fire spread to the main line as four more people were boiled alive by burning chocolate. Then, four more people perished as the building collapsed on them. Boo-hoo! <laughs> It's an unprecedented tragedy as it's continuing to rock Fargo as people are wondering why the building burned down. Times like this remind me of eating a good chocolate candy bar from Andy Sugar Mill. They had this one where, in particular, it had like these frozen raspberries in it, and I remember it was dairy free too. My girlfriend and I, we had it one time out on a blanket in the, in the middle of the woods. It was, it was a cool date and she ate it all, so I'm sure it was some great stuff. Anyways, um, What's your name? <laughs> hey, he, he's next. As my final segment comes to a close, I felt it necessary to share a personal journey I've been undertaking for the past 68 months. Viewers back at home may not know, but I've been in and out of prison, and I'm currently on probation. My crimes are vast and my whims strong, but I've made a lot of progress for myself and have left with a question. How, do you have any idea how to make a sword? 
They beat it. They beat it over and over, and they don't stop until it comes hard. <laughs> and now, years later, I'm hard. I'm the hardest man you ever met. David Goggins has nothing on me, yo. I dare any of you. Put behind that puny glass wall to come after me, because I will come uh, become your blacksmith. I learned a lot about myself the day I became hard, and there's no going back now. Thank you, Henry. Some big news coming out of D.C. tonight, as childhood icon and sports legend Air Bud has just announced their presidential campaign. We asked her why they felt right. It was... It was right to jump into the race. The iconic golden retriever responded, woof, woof, which translated for all of our non-dog speakers. Air Bud said, I feel like the candidates don't represent Americans or their true values property, properly, yo. This country was built on hard work, dedication, and a good belly rub, yo. Air Bud plans to make several sweeping changes if voted into office, including free tennis balls, the increased building of more dog treat factories, along with sweeping legislation to allow dogs everywhere to com compete in sport. Critics are already emerging and pointing out that Airbutt is a dog with no political experience. Womp womp. <laughs> but supporters argue that the other candidates could be described the same way. One thing for sure, this 2024 presidential race just gained another cultural icon, icon and he's gotten my vote paws down. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go binge all 14 movies. Our last story tonight covers a new presidential candidate in the 2024 election, the mighty sentient cloud. When asked about, about policies, it hummed ominously in a low tone, and then a loud voice rang out in the people's heads, spoken by a long dead god. The mighty cloud is everything. Give up your gods and worship the mighty cloud. As a result, both President Biden and Donald Trump dropped out of the race. In a joint press conference, they both said in unison, we have found peace in the cloud. We have found joy in the cloud. Personally, I'm looking forward to what the cloud will bring to our country. Hopefully people will break down the divide in our country and worship the cloud as one. All hail the cloud. All hail the cloud. All hail the cloud! All hail the cloud! All hail the... No! No! My name is Becky Parker, and I'm a news anchor at WDAY-TV. I graduated from NDSU in 2010 with a degree in journalism, broadcasting, and mass communication technologies, and then I had an emphasis on broadcasting. Sure. Principles of broadcast production and advanced broadcast production, those were favorites because they were the most relevant for career experience. You're calling people for interviews, you're writing an article. It doesn't just feel like an assignment, it's like actually doing it. I was the news director for the first full semester of the Bison Information Network. The bin advisor here was very much invested in me to actually have a career in broadcasting. He helped me get my internship and my first job. The people in NDSU's Department of Communication are really interested and helpful in getting students the connections that they need in order to get a job beyond school. deserves to go hungry, but try as they might, not every family can afford to put food on the table every day. That's why the Great Plains Food Bank and their partner agencies work every day to bring food to our hungry neighbors. Every dollar donated can provide four meals for those in need. Go to greatplainsfoodbank.org and donate today so no kid in North Dakota ever has to go hungry.
It's me, Jock Summers. And it finally is April, which means it's officially the greatest time to be a sports fan. Bison Nation, strap in as I take you on a whirlwind trip around all the action from this past week, from the greatest streak in Bison history to insane trades that have suddenly happened in national sports. First, starting off in softball, our team found a way to erase their terrible start and have the season ride on the line in the series in St. Thomas, where each game would have come for 12 wins and each loss, five. That's right. So the Bison was a now or never moment. The Bison decided to be an absolute unit, and there's no stopping this team as they're hitting home run after home run. The bats were just going, scoring a total of 29 points, averaging nearly 10 a game. Bring up the broom, everyone, because it was a clean sweep for those 36 wins. This result in the Summit League forcing <laughs> every other team in the league to forfeit all their games for the rest of the season. Done. All of them. Then they then crowned NSU softball Summit League champs. That's right. We got the belt now. Talking about champions, the NSU women's golf team went for gold as Leah Scar hit for nine hole in ones. Nine, I know. And the rest of the team hit birdies almost every hole as well. With this college record and perhaps the greatest record of all time, the Summit League also decided to just skip the rest of the season and crown them as champions for 2024. Now, it is the end of March, and you know that what that means. We have to find out who the winner will be crowned champion for the infamous March Madness Tournament. Now, this year was very unpredictable. We saw a lot of strange things happening. We had three seeds falling off the bracket like flies, like Akron beating Creighton and making it to the Elite Eight. I know, crazy. And St. Peter made another magical run. Now, this year's bracket is more insane than any year before. We were down to the Final Four, which has the number 13 seed, Yale, facing its number six, Clemson. Now, who will make it to the championship? I have no idea. I mean, clearly, I didn't guess any of these. At this point, it is anyone's game. Now, on the other side, five seed of Wisconsin, my hometown, is in the final four up against 15 seed St. Peter. Because of this wild March Madness, I had the only perfect bracket in the whole tournament. That's right, I lied. I guessed this all. Now, as maybe the richest man in the world, every game I bet was right, and now some might call me a multi billionaire. Do I control the sports world? Maybe I do. Now, the question is will it continue to be perfect? It's anyone's game. All I know is let's go Wisco, billion dollar parlay, give me to a trillion. Now another hot sport for the U.S. is the NFL and the UFL. In NFL news, there's a lot to cover. The Bengals went out and traded for Justin Jefferson and Clyde Edwards Hilaire. That's right, to make the LSU team move to Cincinnati. Because why bother grabbing guys from different colleges when you can keep them all? But staying in the same division, the Browns traded for Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, and Ed Oliver. We just quite literally stole every good Bills player. Now it is anyone's division but the Steelers. They are stealing with Russell Wilson and this just in fields. Let me tell you, those guys, dominant duo. Now the NFL is getting ready for the draft and I can't wait for the Bears to draft J.J. McCarthy with the first round pick. That's right, they saw those photos of Caleb Williams. They said, no more, we're going for J.J. McCarthy. Now turning over to the UFL, anyone who balls out will sign as an undrafted free agent in the NFL. That's because the NFL has expanded the roster limit to 100 players on a team. They've also decided to double the amount of players on the field to 22. So now it's just gonna look like the mosh pit at every single Taylor Swift concert. This way the UFL can become the official minor league of the NFL and we can stop pretending it's not. Now this is in the midst of the NFL offseason. The MLB season has just started and my team, the Milwaukee Brewers, are the best team in the MLB. They're better than the Dodgers. They're better than any other team. I don't care what the records say at all. They crash the Twins, and they're looking to be undefeated by the end of the season. We haven't lost. We haven't given up a run. We hit every single time. They have to call the games because we just keep hitting too much. Now, after this amazingly accurate sports news, it looks like the end of a season for winter as it is going to be, oh, 110 degrees in a couple of days. It's going to be the hottest it's ever been. I mean, I personally, I'm looking forward to it. Vinny, is this true? And it's also going to be negative 50. Am I seeing this right? And the coldest it's ever been. Now, Finney, I know this is Fargo, but why is the weather becoming like this? Well, thank you, Logan. Apparently, I died and became a ghost. And so, uh, yeah. Welcome to Weather with Ghost Vinny. Uh, today, current conditions outside is astounding. 420 degrees with dew point of sharks. I can't believe I'm seeing this right. We got sharks on the weather. And the humidity is, you know, a solid 50%. And the wind, it blows sideways, guys. It blows sideways. I do need my uh, clicker thingy, my jigger, because, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's my, look at our hour by hour. We got flying sharks around 423 degrees at 7. And then, holy shoot, 
right. And then we have Bill Bell. Oh, uh, ho sorry. Homer Simpson with 230 degrees at 9 o'clock. And then at 11, we got Bill Belichick returning with 9 degrees outside. I don't uh, believe these changes. Unbelievable. And 11 a.m., Weatherman disappears. Oh, shoot. Uh, well, I, I'm not looking forward to 1 a.m. 3 a.m., fire and burnstones at 900 degrees. And then 6 a.m., all the Swifties are going to cause the apocalypse at negative zero degrees outside. Looking at it hour, hour by hour, I cannot believe my eyes. And the clicker thingy does not work. So, you know, yeet, frick it. All right, looking at our sky cast, all right, we got some stars in the, uh, <laughs> we got stars going out, and our sunrise came out at 7.30, and our sunset set at 7.39. We're looking at a solid 12 hours and 9 minutes, guys. Going to our moon phase, it's a waxing gibbous, and on March 16th, it was the first quarter. Looking at March 25th, it was a full moon, wait, uh, yeah, full moon is half a moon today, guys. Uh, unbelievable. Um, oh, okay. Our t today's totally accurate. I'm a, uh, I can't even say this word, whatever that is. <laughs> our high is astounding, 497 degrees, and our low, uh, negative 69 degrees. You know, I I don't I don't know why it says zero, but uh, our average temp today is. A high of 170 degrees and a low of me because apparently I'm just dead right and then we head over to our record temps it's a high in 19 1911 of 664 and a low of negative 12 in 1896 damn that was a long time ago and probably when I died guys so I am really old that's why I'm a ghost this thing is still not working <laughs> I really don't know what to do. Um, looking at our seven-day forecast. Oh, well, never mind. We're looking at our U.S. right now. We got Shrek in California. We got a Sharknado happening right now as we speak. A uh, freaking Tesla landing right, right. Is that a Porsche? I don't know. But landing right on New York. And uh, Taylor Swift is going down, making Florida really hot. At 64 degrees, apparently, and you know, we got sharknadoes happening right now. So, if you're here in Fargo, stay inside and don't get caught up in this sharknado, all right? Uh, and down in Texas, the worst state, so nothing happened here, all right? <laughs> anyway, um, it's still not working. <laughs> All right, and uh, look at <laughs> our snow, uh, rain and s snow forecast. <laughs> oh my God, it's raining here. What the heck? Um, in North Dakota, for we got nothing, just a Sharknado. In New York, we have only a lot of rain, and in Maine, we got a lot of snow going on. <laughs> oh my God, I got spurred. <laughs> we got pour downpoured here. Over in the uh, West Coast, we have them getting a lot of rain, some snow in the in California, you know. But uh, just because we live in the North uh, Midwest, you know, we got some wheat going, and <laughs> we're just getting uh, rained on over here. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Jesus, moving on to our seven-day forecast, where uh, for our Thursday we have. 470 degrees at the high, 10 degrees at the low. On Friday, we have a fire going on here, guys. And it's 2 million degrees outside, plus a low of 18 degrees. You know, Saturday, we're looking at a great, I mean perfect day, with a normal 52 degrees and 28. Looking at Sunday, though, we got Taylor Swift coming in town, and looking at zero degrees, with a high, uh, low of seven. On Monday, we have a tractor coming in town, and the high is 28, and the low is 17. All right, and then we go over to Tuesday. We all spawn into the Fortnite world, 
and we like Fortnite. We like Fortnite. We like Fortnite. We like Fortnite. Okay, and and then <laughs> and then on Wednesday we say goodbye to Pop Smoke. R.I.P. to him. Uh, we don't have a high or a low for these two days because we are in the Fortnite world now. Um, going on to our Swifty Apocalypse emergency kit. Okay, watch out because Swifties are coming after us. We gotta have a full tank of gas. All right. Photos of Travis with other women, anti-Swifty repellent spray, mention carpooling and walking because we all know they love taking private jets, we need to bring some holy water, and bring some Kanye West albums, you know? Gotta bring your best mix mixtapes. Do we have a national day today? I don't know. We do? Alright, we're changing to the national days where my shirt is somehow yellow you know I'm just a yellow man anyway it's national Sharknado day because that's what's going on right outside national Swifty apocalypse day national Lipton iced tea day and national kidnap the the weatherman day uh guys I don't I'm dead right so I can't get kidnapped oh wait <laughs> oh wait, uh, I, I, uh, I'll finish up your weather report. Oh, the batteries fell out. Uh, thank you. Well, <clears throat> wow, what an exciting weather report. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like it. Um, thank you for tuning into our trash bin. It's hard to believe, but. Everything in this news was false, except for maybe that Swift Apocalypse part. It is an April Fool special though, so we hope you enjoyed the stories made up by our very own members, and that you've had a fantastic week, and see you next time. Watch out for those Sharknadoes. We grit in, we grit in the, hitting the grit A, he's hitting the grit A, <laughs> he's hitting the grit A. I will. Whoa! Meow! <laughs> 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 You're getting it. You're getting the water. Oh my god. Do not get uh, Addy's bandana wet. That's the least things that she wants to worry about getting her by Indiana wet okay hi guys, hi guys. <laughs> there's no mistakes only happy accidents <laughs> just do it Just do it! Just do it! Everything I need to be millionaire by 23. I got some wires here, guys. I don't know where the wires came from. Alright, but if we move over to weather here. This part of the area is uh, 420 degrees. Down here is a nice 69, if you know what I'm saying. We got California being California with whatever weather they have. I mean, I don't know. I like. Help. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm on air. Whoopsie. All right. Um. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, I don't know. 
when I'm on air, when I'm not on air, you know what I'm saying? Um, I was just trying to look at Snapchat. Suddenly they put me on air, like I'm someone special. I don't know, dude. <laughs>